Hello everyone, Mike Starks with Remax Town & Country here. Today we're looking at 645 Royal Oaks Loop. Really a great property with big beautiful views located just 2.7 miles from downtown Fredericksburg. You've got a great three bedroom, two bath home sitting on 9.88 acres. The house is just kind of perched here on the hillside often about 1,985 square feet with three bedrooms and two baths. And just really some gorgeous views, kind of back to the north and the east. So let me show you where we're located. That's the property and that's downtown Fredericksburg. So you just head west on Main Street and at the Y you go right about a half a mile. You take a right onto Armory Road and Armory Road just kind of turns into Royal Oaks Loop back here. And then you're at the property. So you can see the house is set way back off the road. Lots of trees all around you, so it's really a nice private secluded feeling. House is just kind of perched up on the hill here. Let me switch to the topo. You can see you've really got a lot of elevation change, so you really get some beautiful views east and north. And then that west view, or what you know, the sun kind of sets behind that hill, so it kind of guards you against some of that really hot afternoon sun. And the great thing is, I mean, you're literally five minutes to downtown. You know, HEB's right here, so really a great location. So let's go in and take a look around. Just on the front porch, looking out at those views again. Nice little front porch stone exterior on the front of the house and when you walk in you can definitely tell it was a 70s house because it's dated but it's actually got some great architectural features with those that kind of vaulted ceiling with the beams big rock fireplace i mean this place has just got tons of potential to become a real show place again kitchen has plenty of space Again, those windows looking out at those views are just awesome. Little pantry there. And I'm counting this as a bedroom, uh, but it could also make a great office, a workout room. It's not real large, but would certainly work. And it's on one end of the house. Then you've got your two-car garage. I think I'd put some even bigger windows and maybe some glass doors right there just to take in that view. And then that leads to the backyard, which we'll go to in a minute. Then in the hallway, you've got your utility room. Off to the left is the master. Nice spacious room. Big bathroom, double sinks. Lots of room to kind of redo things in here and modernize it a bit. Again, waking up, looking out this window would be a really pretty view. Also a huge walk-in closet already in place. Then you've got your third bedroom. Again, ample closet space in here. Not a walk-in, but... And then you've got your guest bath kind of here at the end of the hall. And again, lots of room in here. Double sinks, tub shower combo. So pl plenty of space to kind of redo things the way you want them. Lots of wildlife out here. And then you've got one more room here which is a great office area just off the den.
All right, so let's go outside. All right, I've just walked out back behind the house now. And there you can really see those views. And I think if you did some selected pruning of the trees in front of the house, you'd really open up more views as well. But you've got plenty of room to add onto this house. Uh, there's probably room to add, uh, add a second structure on here. Uh, the restrictions would allow for a short-term rental here. And with the views and being this close to town, no matter what you're planning to use it for, this would be a real show place. So if you'd like more information, you can visit my site at mikestarks.com. And as always, thanks for watching.